So here's an example of a price control on what you might see on an AP microeconomic test. So supply and demand has determined the price is $3,000 per, and you see that there's $1,000 that's bought and sold. So maybe this is rent in New York City where the going price for an apartment is $3,000 a month. The government sees that and says $3,000 a month is not fair. So what they do is they set a price ceiling. This price ceiling is this price right here. I'm going to abbreviate as PC. Uh, maybe the government says the highest price that you're allowed now is $1,500 a month. So well, the market uh, has determined the price is $3,000, the government feels that that's not fair, so they'll set a price ceiling. Price ceiling would only be effective if they set it down below. So we just have to read the graph to see what happens. Where that price ceiling hits the supply curve, right here. Trace down. Since that was the supply curve, it clearly shows quantity supplied. Next, where that price ceiling hits the demand curve, trace down. Since it was the demand curve, it shows quantity demanded. Now which one's greater? If zero is back here, quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. So that means the consumers want to buy more than what's available. That's the definition of a shortage. So the government has tried to help the consumers get cheaper rent in New York City by setting a price ceiling at $1,500, but the result is that consumers want to buy up the properties and the business don't want to supply as many properties. So quantity demand is greater than quantity supplied simply by reading the graph and we have a shortage.